Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for December 6th of 2018. So let's uh, check into what's going on with you in the beginning of the day for Aquarius and love. The beginning of the day for Aquarius and love. So we have the seven of pentacles and usually um, just uh, trying to say hey, like why are things like this? How can they be better? You know, why are we not communicating? How might my money be? You know, how might theirs be? So kind of waiting for things to get better and you know, just uh, thinking about things, maybe disappointed at times too. Um, beginning of the day for Aquarius and love. See the sun as well. So it's almost like you think about some things, you know, look around and and then you start to have fun. You kind of just say, hey, it is what it is. And maybe someone comes around, maybe a new love. It could be good communication, whatever things that you might like. But um, usually having a lot of fun, maybe um, like the half um <laughs> the half of the uh, morning so uh, let's see the middle of the day for Aquarius and love and then we have the nine of cups so something is making you feel good so that's nice to see nine of cups is um joy feeling content just feeling blessed that you might be around your love interest or that people might be interested in you or around the person that you love or you're interested in so let's see clip out a nine of cups for Aquarius for the middle of the day and then we have the Hierophant. That is the uh, energy of um, friends, family, commitment with your partner, um, a marriage staying as, as it is and trying to work through it um, with that particular person. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, well, I'm another Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Leo, and um, you have Taurus showing up. All right, so let's see the end of the day for Aquarius. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, Whatever it is, some of you could be very much trying to either keep your marriage intact and hold on to it or another person could be doing this as well. Um, but there does seem to be um, somebody else in the picture. So competition, trying to work to persevere in your connection, trying to make making sure that you save it. Let's see, three pentacles in reverse for Aquarius for the end of the day. Yeah, some of you... Um, yeah, that's what I get a sense of towards the end of the day. Someone is either fighting to keep the marriage or relationship intact to hold on or um, you're doing this with somebody else. That's what I, I, I get a sense of. All right. Um, now, the the beginning of the day for your partner or love interest for Aquarius. The moon shows up. That's a uh, part of um, being watched, not feeling all that confident, not sure about you. Um, a lot of hidden fears that they might have yeah the lovers is in reverse that try to pop out um and this is sometimes not really being honest about uh what they feel for you or how they might be feeling about the whole situation one more thing for um aquarius your partner or love interest in the beginning of the day you see the moon shows up some of you your ex-partner or someone that you might be into they're still into you um and for some the other person that you're with they they could be moving on that's what i sense of i get a sense of when i see that um moving on but keeping that from you but intuitively some of you know that so you might be trying to fight to keep it keep the connection there that's what it seems like to me um and let's see and that person might think about you like they might just be waking up from a dream from you in the beginning of the day and i'm not sure if they let you know about it if they do that can might that maybe make you a bit happy but there's still some kind of um other person in the picture now the middle of the day for the person that you're dealing with will want to deal with the middle of the day what might they be dealing with and then three of wands see there they're waiting it's almost like they're waiting for you to come forward or trying to uh wait for the right time to take that step forward the middle of the day for queen of wands in reverse uh in whichever way that might affect you it could be your current partner or if it's theirs it's almost like that person is in the way. It's almost like an obstacle when I see that. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a very um, aggressive person, maybe even sexually. Um, they're in connections and looking to connect with someone in a sexual way first and foremost. You know, the fleshy, energetic, the wand energy taking action. But when they're provoked or um, when they're denied that, then that's when they get very vengeful or jealous or whatever it might be so um it doesn't have to be that person for many of you it might be but it could be anyone in that way in a perverse position not the happiest version of themselves so um towards the end of the day for um and if you're dealing with that person <laughs> that might be you're literally your partner um uh, for some of you but that person may be kind of taking a step back um purposely all right so 
What is the end of the day for Aquarius in love? I mean, the person that you're dealing with end of the day. See, the star shows up, and um, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the person that could be competing for you, all right? For some of you out there, and maybe if that's the person that you might be waiting for, for some. Um, and I hope you get what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I'm following. I hope you do. There's a lot here, but um, the when they're optimistic about it, that's when they're like happy. They get to keep you, or they're trying to work towards keeping you. Um, for some of you out there, but um, there's something else. Someone else is in the picture. Tell me about the star again for Aquarius, uh, the person that you're dealing with. End of the day, and then we have the eight of swords in reverse, breaking away, breaking free, healing. And then the four swords, um, two things where, hey, they still love you. They might be into you, but they also know that they can't really do what they can do to kind of keep you where they want to keep you. I feel for some because you might be wanting to do your own thing, especially if you're dealing with someone who wants to connect, but you're already married. And that's why they can't really get in because it's like, oh, I'm just going to focus on where I am right now. And um, the other person is a. Uh, Hey, they're excited, but they can't really act on it. All right. Um, let's see. What might be a vice card for Aquarius in love? And then we have the five of wands. Conflict is there. All right. Competition, um, issues, disputes, um, things where they can be very intense, um, sometimes very petty as well. All right. And one more for Aquarius in love. One more card for Aquarius in love. And then we have true love. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. And maybe uh, for some of you, the person that you might be um, trying to hold on to you, it could be true love, right? Um, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be the, the lasting love, the long-term love that you really want. Maybe it has run its course for some of you. And maybe the person that you would like to really get closer to, that wants to get closer to you, that might be the true love that can um, really grow for some. But you have to let go of the past. That's what I get a sense of, all right? So, um that's going to be your reading i hope the messages did resonate in some way tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one